Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The first time the words were ever uttered. My partner didn't fully understand it then, and he doesn't now. The concept of an entity from the beyond the veil, which is not an entity that is bigger than you are. It's not an entity that has to be worshipped. It's not even an entity that wants to be listened to. It's creation that you were part of that speaks to you. It is part of you that you feel and you hear in the voice that comes out of the man. It is the love and the purity of the creative source which has been in the heart and the DNA of every soul in the room and every lifetime you've been here in this place. There are old souls. I tell my partner he is an old soul magnet. <laughs> this is what he attracts. And that is because there are those who feel the name of cryon as the messenger of the bridge between the old and the new it is 2012 and here it is that year so many have been startled afraid of so many things have been said about it and i will tell you dear ones what i'm going to tell you a little later in the day you are remembering why you even came to this planet the first time. You're remembering. And in that remembering is a shift. The remembering is not happened because it's time to remember. The remembering is happening because human beings on this planet have literally shifted the grids, all of them. The magnetic, the crystalline, the Gaia. To create an awareness. And that awareness is waking you up. It's happening everywhere. But the ones who are taking the gauntlet are the old souls. They're starting to realize that they have gone through so much and stayed and stayed and stayed for them to be here now at this time. There is so much to you from us it is congratulatory it's why we wash your feet it's why we say we are not here for you to to listen up to make a list that's not why we do this it is so that we will start a process of belief of understanding of remembrance that says this is true that human beings were built to love God. Human beings were built to love each other. Human beings were designed in perfection to live ten times what your lifestyle lets you do. Ten times. Easy. And it's all attainable. You were told the day would return when certain kinds of science would be revealed that had been kept from you and it is starting there'll come a day my partner will be with this a day not even a hundred years away when there'll be a proclamation of a healed planet where there is no disease that is unknown and you might say oh, I would love to see that I'm not even sure that can happen it will and it should and there's no reason why it won't some of you who are seniors in the room grew up at a time when you had those things which were incurable, killing children, whether it's what you call polio or the smallpox, and there simply is none, none on the earth. Imagine that for all of the other things that would shorten your life. Why not? If they could find those, then the others are attainable. For it's simply the chemistry of the designer. And that you've got the intelligence of. You're part of that. Why not? So I tell you, these things are coming. 
And they would not have been possible without a planet that sits in the energy of continuation. A planet that sits in the energy where there is a compassion about changing things to make them better. To unification as opposed to separatism. To unify is to strengthen. My partner is going to tell you this very day, on the screen, show you this very day, what's happening on the planet. And he's going to show you that for the first time, the planet is unifying instead of separating. When is the last war you had? I mean a real big one. It's called World War II. That's the last one, and that was 60 years ago. And I will tell you that the prophets said you would never be here today. All of them. Whether it's in your scripture, which you say is holy, or whether it's, whether it's the Nostradamus. Whatever quatrains you're going to read, they fall on the floor because it didn't happen. You changed it. And here you sit in a time where no one thought you could be. This is the turning point. It begins now. Humans can do whatever they want with this. They can pull it right back to where it was. But I will tell you that the potential, the ball is rolling in the direction of unity. And there is always old energy that's going to scream and pull its hair and yell that doesn't want to go there. That's going to want to separate and fight and even die for what it believes you should be doing. There is an old saying, and I've used this now five times in channel. If the females ran the world, there would be no war, for they would never send any one of their sons or daughters into the battlefield to be killed. They simply wouldn't do it. And you might think, oh, how trite that is because the reality is so much different. And I'm going to say this now to you, the reality is old. And that's why it doesn't make sense. The reality is old. What about a new reality that says that human beings in general will not create war for none of them as parents will ever send a child into the battlefield? Is that day coming? And the answer is, it is. That is what we see. And you can call it peace on earth. There'll always be disagreements. And you're going to see a lot of shuttling around, coming and going. There's going to be death and sorrow. And we said there would be in the crossing of this bridge, the bridge of swords, the bridge of swords, and I will tell you what the swords are doing. They're not used in battle. They are in honor. They are crossing each other. And we are holding those swords so you can walk under them in celebration. Walking into the beginning of what will change this planet forever. You can throw away the old prophecies. And some of the things that have never been revealed to you are going to be. And that is the description of the next 18 years. The time to plant the seeds, the times when many human beings will begin to remember, remember what they're here for and what they can do within their own bodies. And then they see some of you starting to live a long time looking young. And they'll say, it is doable. It's not a new age fantasy, it is reality. And it is here to stay. And it's not about belief systems. It's not about church. It's not about any of those things, for it is not a doctrine. Instead, it is the way of it. It is the life core essence of where you came from and why you're here. And there wouldn't be a church that would disagree that you're here to love God. So let us start here. 
in your understanding, recognition, And the way you treat each other, it's a safe place right now. Right now, it's a very safe place to think out of the box right now. I'll talk more about that tonight. And so the object is to leave the place different than you came. Many will. Let the day proceed. And so it is.